Hello Taurus, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly love reading and everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, my lovely Taurus, let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys. The overall energy of your love situation this week, we have the King of Pentacles. I love that. That's your energy showing up. Your energy. We have the Fool. The energy of the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with. We have the Queen of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the sun. So far, the signs that I'm seeing for you guys, Taurus, you have Taurus, you have Aquarius, you have Leo, you have Libra. Now, there will be more that come out as we go, and I will give those to you later. And I wouldn't get too hung up on the signs. It is a general reading, okay? But I do feel, wow. You got the lovers, you got the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck too. So you got Gemini and earth energy here as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I do feel like you guys are going to be receiving a message this week that just, it makes you really happy. Okay. Somebody wants to talk to you. And we're going to clarify these real quick before we go any further. But I do feel like Taurus, I feel like you're in a much better place than you have been even like six months ago. I just feel like you're in a much better place. You guys have been really focused on yourself, getting yourselves together, um, getting to a much more stable place. I just feel like you're feeling a lot better, okay? Now, you could be ready for some kind of new beginning here. You could be open to taking a chance on something, or something could be feeling a little bit risky to, or to you, so we'll have to clarify it and see with that full energy. But let's start with this person. Tell me about this Queen of Swords energy. Why is that their energy towards Taurus? We have the Knight of Wands. In the page of swords <sighs> Taurus I feel like somebody here especially with the Sun card the Sun card can also be a card of being seen and getting a lot of attention Taurus I like I said I feel I felt right away that you guys have been really pouring a lot of energy into yourself some of you guys are looking really good Taurus okay some of you guys are you're just looking really good i feel like a lot of you guys it's not even just your physical appearance although for some of you guys i do feel like you guys have been pouring a lot of energy into your you know your physical appearance i feel like you guys have been like really working on yourselves in that way but i also just feel like it's your energy okay i feel like you guys have you're feeling better and people around you can see it i do feel like some of you guys sun card page of swords here somebody's seeing you get a lot of attention and this knight of wands somebody's seeing maybe that you're going out somebody's watching your social media or they're hearing about things from friends or like there's just they're hearing things there's information this person is discovering about you with this page of swords energy and this knight of wands to me it feels like a card of desire like this whatever this person sees it makes them it shoots desire through them even right here i was really drawn to this on the top of this lover's card, I'm covering it up because of the nudity, but on top of this lover's card, there's a Cupid, okay? I feel like whatever this person has seen, it instantly uh, hits them with Cupid's arrow. We'll put it like that. But the Knight of Wands is also it's a card of moving towards what you want. I feel like somebody's reaching out to you, and this is definitely this can we talk, but it's coming from something that they've seen, okay? So they've seen you looking really good here. They've seen you getting, maybe they've seen you get a lot of attention or they've seen, you, they've seen you go out, they've seen you do different things and it's really triggering them here. So somebody's reaching out, can we talk? Now you're in this full energy. Why is Taurus in this full energy? Some of you guys are just trying to create a new beginning for yourselves and with this sun energy and this full energy and this king of pentacles and you feeling like yourselves, you're just focused on creating a new beginning and you're going out, you're enjoying your life, you're having fun with this full card. Some of you guys, this person could be, especially if you're starting to date, um, this person could kind of see something like that. That could be triggering them as well. Tell me about this full energy for Taurus. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you guys, though, Taurus, this is what you've wanted. You've wanted to reconnect with this person. 
in this full energy, I feel like you are ready. When this person reaches out and wants to talk, I feel like you are ready for a new beginning with this person. I feel like you are willing to take a chance on this. The Ten of Pentacles is like, this is everything that I've wanted. Some of you guys especially have been very focused on your work, especially for those of you who are your entrepreneurs. It's like, I think you've been really focused on building and leaving a legacy. You're just in a much better place all the way around. What is this person's next actions towards Taurus, please? We have the Justice card. So somebody's wanting to come in and make something right with you here. What is Taurus's next action towards this person? The Knight of Wands. What's the potential outcome? We have the Eight of Swords. And the advice, the magician. Spirit is asking you to get clear about what it is that you actually want, Taurus. Um, because I do feel like you or this person could both be in your head. Because on one hand, I do feel like some of you guys with this full card and this ten of pentacles energy, maybe you're focused on so focused on the life that you're building that you're not sure if you want to go back. You're in your head about it. Um, especially if this person was very inconsistent in the past. Um some of you guys, I feel like they could have just up and left or they could have been in a player-like energy or just in that Knight of Wands and, you know, inconsistent aspect of that energy where they were in and out or hot and cold. And I feel like some of you guys are a little bit distrusting about that. Some of you guys could be in your head that the same things that have happened in the past with this person are going to repeat themselves. And with this full energy, you could be feeling like it's a little risky, especially given everything that you've been working on and the place that you're finally at. It's like, do I really want to take that chance and go backwards? I feel like you're in your head about it. This person here, I do feel like they do have good intentions. Okay, with this justice card, I feel like they do have good intentions. I feel like they do want to try to make things right with you here. But spirit is asking you um, before you make this decision to spend time to really think about what's best for you. But think about whatever it is that you want here. I feel like spirit is saying you can have what you want. If you want to move forward and have a new beginning and focus on the things that you've been focusing on, I think that you can do that. And I think that you'll be very happy. I think you'll have a lot of success. Ten of Pentacles energy. If you're wanting to reconnect with this person and you are wanting to, um, you know, create that ten of pentacles with them, I think that you can have that too. I feel like Spirit is saying it's really up to you and what you feel is best for you. You're going to have a very significant choice to make. Spirit's wanting you to take the time to figure out what it is that you truly want, okay? But that is what I have for you, Taurus. I do hope that this helps. Um, if it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.